Hi, breast friends. This is Jacqueline and Emma Claire coming for, to you from National Center for Plastic Surgery hey here in McLean, Virginia. We are coming to you today to talk to you about preventative care yep. prior to going into some of the cancer treatments. Yep. Any type of breast reconstruction. Okay. So I'll give a little quick introduction about myself. Um, I'm Jacqueline Sweet, and I have been a clinical esthetician now for since 2004, so that is a long time. That's 15? <laughs> 16 years. Yeah, 16 years, so I love what I do. I became certified in oncology aesthetics in 2011, I believe, 2010, 2011 time frame. Unfortunately, I didn't get to work with it as much as I would like when I was in dermatology, and I came here and joined this practice about four years ago almost, and have been working with it ever since. 85% of our practice is geared towards oncology. Our surgeons are renowned surgeons for reconstruction for breast cancer. Yeah. So Emma and I are very privileged to work with that community on a daily basis. Yep, for sure. Yeah. And um, my name's Emma Claire, as Jackie said a minute ago. Um, I have been in aesthetics for a total of three years now. I started back in 2017 actually in Dublin, Ireland, where I started with a cosmetic doctor over there. And on a personal note, last year I returned home because my mom got diagnosed with breast cancer and actually was a patient of one of our um, famous plastic surgeons here in our practice. So that's how I got in touch with Jackie. And I'm really excited to be working with you guys here. It's a first for me of working with oncology patients um, but, but she's I'm, a natural yes I'm loving it and I'm loving the brands and the products that we use for you guys and it's just so rewarding coming from a patient perspective and now giving back to you guys so I'm loving what we're doing and we're so excited to be joining you this month and going through all our little tidbits that we have for you yeah so one of the first things that we're going to discuss is the lipid barrier function and Emma's going to go into that a little bit and explain what that is. Yeah, so basically our skin has two main layers, right? It has the epidermis, which is our superficial outer layer, that's what we see, and our dermis. And our dermis is the deepest layer of the skin and that's where you see all of the anti-aging ingredients, so your collagen, your elasticity, fibroblasts, all that good stuff. So what we're going to talk about mainly is the epidermis, which is the superficial layer. This is where the lipid barrier function lies. And basically what the lipid barrier function does is lipid stands for fat. So fat soluble and water soluble. So what it is essentially doing is preventing against any trans epidermal water loss in our skin, making sure that our skin is A, hydrated, and B, not dehydrated. So Jackie, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been seeing with patients on the bed? Um, you've been doing a little bit longer than I have, so what do you normally see on a patient, say they are just got diagnosed with breast cancer, maybe they've started treatment, maybe they haven't, but in general, what would you see with their lipid barrier function happening at the beginning stages? Okay, sure. Um, and this is something I see even just with patients that are not in cancer treatment. Yeah. A lot of times the lipid barrier function is off in, um, in the average person because yes. they're not taking proper care of their skin. Yeah. Um, things like dryness, um, sensitivity. How many times do patients yeah. come into us and say, oh no, you have to be careful, I have very sensitive skin. A lot of times the reason why they feel sensitive and they're more reactive is because their lipid barrier function is off. Mm. The good news is, is it doesn't take any time to bring that function yeah. back. I mean, it can take just two to three weeks using wow, the right, awesome. yeah, using the right protocol to really, you know, encourage that those skin cells and the rehydrate. and rehydrate and make sure that there's not any water loss um, happening. That's pretty incredible because usually a full skin cycle is a full four weeks, mm -hmm. a full month. So for it to happen with medical grade products that are designed for oncology patients that we'll get into later on, um, it's a great way to see the results really, really fast. In yeah. two to three weeks, that's pretty incredible for yeah. a topical product to do that. So that's really exciting. Yeah. And we can, I can touch on a couple of things. We can go right into just talking about 
um, our favorite skincare when it comes to working with um, oncology skin yeah. is IS Clinical. They have a whole program that is actually designated just to, they call it cancer care, mm -hmm. um, where it's just products that are used just on, on oncology patients. Yep. One of the things we know, getting back to the lipid uh, function barrier, is antioxidants are hands down probably the best thing you can use to help strengthening that barrier and telling it to work properly. What are antioxidants? So for patients that maybe are totally new to skincare, have no idea what maybe we're talking about when it comes to this stuff, since it is more medical grade, what would you describe antioxidants as being? Well, everybody knows the good vitamin C. Yeah. And everybody, I mean, any magazine you read and everything, it talks about vitamin C and E. Yep. Um, we know most formulas now um, have C and E together because we know for C to w work properly in the skin, it needs its friend E with it. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. So most okay. formulas are doing it correctly where, you know, for a while, everyone had the best vitamin C on the market. Yeah. But not all vitamin C's are the same. And that's really important to know because we have a couple different vitamin C's and there are certain vitamin C's that are a little more potent, a little more water soluble, and sometimes the surface vitamin C's can be a little irritating to the skin. Okay. So somebody that is going through cancer treatments, it, they might not be ideal for them. So, so they're gonna need more of a deeper vitamin C, something that's gonna get deep into the trans-epidermal dermal junction almost. So not only is it uh, hitting the barrier function, but it's hitting all those layers in between before it gets to the dermis. Yes, yeah, but also, okay but also the, the formula in itself. The reason why uh, Ice Clinical does actually offer two vitamin C's, but the one that we use for the oncology patients is called ProHeal. And the reason being is that it has a formula where it has mushroom extract in it and the olive leaf extract in it. So those two ingredients actually- Soothing. Yeah, they calm, they synergistically work with the vitamin C to calm it so it's not too irritating on the skin where their super serum vitamin C is just a straight power horse, you know, vitamin C. Yeah. But it doesn't have the calming agents, so somebody uh, who has impaired skin, if they were go to use it, mm -hmm. they probably would have that sensitivity to that particular vitamin C. Okay, so someone who is going through cancer treatment or just starting preventatively, definitely they're gonna wanna invest in the ProHeal Serum first because they'll be able to use that throughout their whole entire treatment Correct. course. Yeah. That's great, okay. Yeah. So why don't you tell us, Emma, what else we have in this PureCom collection? Yeah, absolutely. So in the PureCom collection, obviously we just talked about ProHeal, which Jackie touched on. We have a couple other products that we recommend for our oncology patients. The first one being the Cleansing Complex. And this favorite. is, a, it's our favorite, yes. It's probably our most sold cleanser that we have here in the practice. For just, all skin types. Yeah, for all skin types and our oncology patients just because it feels so nice on the skin and smooth. But ingredients wise, it is a salicylic acid based cleanser. Now, oncology patients, when you hear salicylic acid base, I think the first thing that patients go to in their head is acid and they go, oh no, yeah. I don't want to touch acid. But this type of salicylic acid is made with willow bark, which actually gives an extreme calming and anti-inflammatory effect to the skin. So you can use this preventatively as well as going through cancer treatment and during cancer treatment because on some subsequent videos we're going to do, we're gonna go more in depth about what happens to your skin during, during chemo or, and or radiation. But essentially, this is gonna help calm down a lot of possible bumps that might come up on the skin, something we call acneic rosacea, mm -hmm. so red acne, essentially. So yes. we will get more in detail with that in another video. But So you're saying, so, just to touch on what you just said, yeah. staying away from acids when you are going through uh, cancer treatments is very important yes. and you cannot use any acids on your skin, unfortunately. Yes. But because of this formulation, it it's is a safe. botanical form. Yes. So It's a okay. safe form to use on your skin. Okay. Yep. Um, following the Pro Heal and Cleansing Complex, you have this little guy right here, which looks just like the Pro Heal, but in a blue bottle and he's called the Hydrocool Serum, which is one of our personal yeah. favorites. It's one of my personal favorites. Um, Hydrocool 
it's in the name, Hydra, meaning water, cool, as in anti-inflammatory, calming down the skin. What's not to like about that? Yeah. So it's a very potent form of hyaluronic acid. Again, not a negative acid. This actually is a water-soluble acid, so it gives a plumping and nourishment and hydration effect to the skin. Something we already make in our body currently. Yes. We all have hyaluronic acid in our body, and as we age, and certain factors, you know, environmental factors, yeah. cancer, um, it will get depleted more and more. Yeah. So they have found through the studies by applying it topically, yeah. not everything works that way, by the way. Um, when you apply hyaluronic acid topically, it does absorb into the cells and will help create more hyaluronic acid in your, yeah. in your body. Which in turn helps with transepidermal water loss, yes. which we talked about at the beginning. So it will help strengthen that lipid barrier function. Holds, so what is it holds, hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its, its weight, weight in, in water. water. Yep. yep. <laughs> so I'll put that up on the screen there for you guys. It's a little tidbit. If you don't remember anything else, just remember that. <laughs> And then our last one that we have is the Eclipse SPF 50. Most important. Most important, yes. yes. Um, do you wanna to touch on that one a little bit? Yes, I mean, it's it's a, a physical block sunscreen, which yeah. is so zinc important. and titanium. Those are That's what physical block means, so important. With physical blocks, the rays bounce off the skin. They're not, it's not absorbed, where chemical blocks will absorb the rays but they have found that um, the physical blocks are just overall environmentally yeah. safer. And they just found through studies that also, you know, bouncing off that rays uh, is a little more beneficial to the sun protection than Absolutely. the chemical blocks. Plus less irritation. Chemical blocks, yeah. I personally cannot use chemical blocks. I will get a little bit of a sun rash mm -hmm. when I combine the sun and a chemical uh, block on myself. So physical blocks can be used on babies starting at six months old. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we said everyone knows uh, SPF is important, but when it comes to when your body goes through cancer, um, I learned this while in dermatology, uh, you have about a 75 to 85% chance that you will get some form of skin cancer. Um, so when you go through the cancer treatments, especially chemo, we all know they're, they're, it's killing the bad cells, but also some of the good cells. It's basically purging everything that was in the skin outwards. That's what, what chemo and radiation can do for your skin. So you need to be very, very careful. It's gonna be extremely photosensitized. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful even going to the beach or going out in the sun in general during your, your treatments coming up. So you have to be very, very careful. And so it's absolutely crucial like you said jackie to be having a good mineralized 100 percent mineral sunscreen yeah. rather than a chemical one and i always say the best sunscreen is the one you'll wear okay. so next we're going to talk about uh strata xrt my favorite so basically strata xrt is our third main preventative product that we have here in the clinic and we use this product for our radiation patients so if you have just done your breast reconstruction surgery and you're coming in and getting geared up for your radiation treatments or say you're after chemo going into radiation this is when you would start this product it's a innovative wound form uh, dressing that goes thinly on the superficial layer of your skin or wherever it's going to be on the breast localized and what it's basically going to do is create a protective layering, a protective barrier against the lasering from the radiation. Yeah. So it's gonna prevent against third degree burns, radiation dermatitis. I'll pop up a few pictures now on the screen for you guys to see what it looks like. It's, it's pretty aggressive. It's pretty aggressive on the skin and some of it can be permanent looking. Also, a big one is discoloration. Radiation is aggressive. Yes, radiation not, not, is not aggressive. Not the XRT. Not the XRT, <laughs> but radiation, well, it's aggressive in a good way. Yes. Um, but yes, radiation can be very aggressive in terms of skin discoloration, burns, dermatitis, Just a lot the burn of alone. stuff. Yeah. yeah, the burn alone. And not only physically, but psychologically, it can really have a long lasting impact on our oncology patients. So when I actually, on a personal note, I actually gave this to my mom to use and she used it through her radiation. And let me tell you, 
she came out on the other side with our plastic surgeon. He had a look at her after her whole radiation treatment and said, did you have radiation? Yeah. Did, did you get it? Yeah. And my mom said I had 60 days of it and not a scratch. Yeah. She didn't get burns. She didn't get dryness even. So it really, really acts as a really strong protective barrier on top of the skin during your radiation treatments, whether it's four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. Um, we have different size tubes. We have a 20 gram and a 50 gram tube um, to last you the whole time. And we actually also have a couple discounts in terms of getting another tube if you need it during your radiation treatment. Which you will, because one tube yeah. won't be enough. So, uh, which Jackie will go into. Yeah, and that's <laughs> and, and we've worked with the company to work with us because we have to be honest, it is it is an expensive product. It is, yeah. Um, and insurance unfortunately does not carry it. Talking to different radiologists and different clinics, one of the reasons they're okay with it. Any Anybody we've had, any patient we've had uh, get approval from their oncology radiologist first mm -hmm. has all gotten the A-OK. -okay. Yeah. And their reason why they don't sell it is just because they find that the product's expensive. But Emma and I worked something out with the company that yes. you buy your first tube here and we give you a 10% discount here. And then we're able to give you a 40% off coupon that you go online and go ahead and reorder any additional tubes to be sent directly to That's you amazing. to use. Because it is something that if you're going to start, you want to use the whole duration yeah. of your radiation and even a couple weeks after because the results, some of the side effects of the radi radiation will still conti yeah. continue after and I don't know Up if to two months, I think, yeah. actually, after radiation. Your last dose of radiation, it will the skin will continue to purge yeah. and see that discoloration and, and all of those that I explained earlier. Yeah. So we, I, have, we haven't had anybody not happy with this or yeah. not see results. I mean, yeah. we have so many testimonials. I have one patient that I'll never forget. She just could not run in here fast enough. She Aww. was so excited. She, you know, had a group of people, I think there was 10 women all going through it at the same time and they were all like in a support group and she was the only one in the group that was using the XRT and they were all, I mean, her radiologist was blown away by her results, same wow. as your mom, where they just were like, oh my gosh, yeah. you have nothing. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're a big believer in this. Like we said, we, we're here to help you out on the cost. We yeah. do know that you know, things get costly, but oh, it's course. one of those things, it, it is worth the investment. Oh, 100% so. for years to come. And with all of these preventative skincare, we do give you 10% off just as a little gift um, from our uh, plastic surgery office to you if you're one of our breast reconstruction patients. So that's just a little extra tidbit. And I think we'll do that for the breast friends. We will. As yes. well. So you can always call in to us and we can give you that little 10% discount on our products. Just use the discount code breast friends. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you for joining us on week one and we will see you all on week two when we discuss during cancer treatments and the different stages and what you can be doing to further along your journey. And what, yeah, what things to expect and so exactly. on and so forth. Okay. All right. Look see forward you later, to it, guys. guys. Bye.